Discord is pretty good at making sweeping changes that anger a lot of people, and the brand new Discord mobile update is no different, if not a bit worse. What's up, I'm Troubleshoot, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you the new Discord mobile theme, as well as what you can do about it if you're not the biggest fan of it. Before we begin, what exactly have they changed? Discord have changed so much that they're actually advertising what they've changed and what's new. If you head to discord.com, you'll see a brand new banner, which which, upon clicking it, takes you to discord.com slash mobile, where you can read all about the newest mobile update with a hugely different UI, etc. You can read about all of the changes and even see most of what's going on here if you haven't already seen it on your device. Essentially, everything's been moved from the left side in a nice list to easy to touch buttons at the bottom of your screen. This not only messes with everyone's memory of where everything is, but you'll need to change how you interact with the app pretty much entirely to get used to the new layout. So without further ado, you'll find this linked down below. Let's have a look at what Discord used to look like, and of course, show you how to get back there. If I pull up my phone here and open up Discord, you'll see what it used to look like. We had all of the servers on the far left side, as well as our user settings in the bottom right, etc. There's not too much to talk about here. It's just nicely organized with everything exactly where you want it to be, and it's easy to get around here. But things have changed. I'm on version, I think, 204 in this over here, but opening up the latest version and logging it again, you can see what the new layout looks like. They even give you a little pop-up here. If you click Let's Go, they'll give you a quick rundown. You can choose a theme, light, dark, or midnight. And on top of this, they'll introduce you to the new buttons at the very bottom. This is cool and all, but a lot of people don't really like this. We have messages, and instead of swiping, we can choose servers here, which now takes us back to a somewhat similar looking section. It's just now we need an extra button click in order to get here. For the most part, a lot of other things are pretty much the same. I think the new voice messages button over here is new as well. I don't know why general chat's not loading here, but anyways, it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. It's Discord, but with lots of the things shuffled around in a way that doesn't necessarily make sense. If we click our user in the bottom right, followed by settings in the top right, and scroll all the way down, head into advanced and enable developer mode, you'll see that scrolling further down, we get information about the app, including the app version 207.23. Now, this update was added, I think, in version 205, and essentially, if you want to disable the new layout and how everything looks to get back to the old version, you need to forcibly downgrade Discord on your device, whether it's an Apple or an Android device, etc. There's different ways of doing these. Obviously, on Android, it's going to be a lot easier to download the Discord app from a third party and install a previous version. I obviously won't be able to show you that here in this video, but it should be very easy to track down a previous version of Discord, and you can even find multiple guides on Reddit on how to do so. Essentially, everything up to version 205.15 is the old layout before things change like they have here. For some reason, I need to use my actual device for this as downloading the absolute latest version of the app doesn't give me this new layout in something like Bluestacks. I had to use a physical phone for this, so there's probably going to be some other way of working around this in the future. But for now, in order to get rid of the UI update, you need to just not get it. If you haven't updated Discord, stop updating it right now. Obviously, security and things are a concern, especially when it goes into the future with more than just a few updates. But for now, the only way to keep the old UI is not to get the new one, as annoying as that is. That being said, Discord are their own company and they can freely do pretty much whatever they want, whenever they want. And if they choose to somehow disable access to these old versions of Discord through their API or something, stopping them from functioning entirely, that's up to them. But for now, you can still technically get access to the older versions of Discord, install them, and get back to using it the way it was before. In the future, hopefully Discord do change their mind and allow people to get back to the old UI layout, but that doesn't really seem like it's on the table for Discord. They've got other things to worry about, so sadly, there's not much of a choice here. Either get used to the new layout, or don't update and stay with the old one. But of course, it's your decision to make. Personally, I'd just try and get used to the new layout, even if I absolutely despise it. At least then you'll have all of the new Discord security updates and features in the future. Whereas staying with a much older version may keep working for quite some time, but it's obviously not the best idea. Anyways, it's a bit of a sad video, but hopefully you found some use out of this. If you find anyone telling you that you can disable it, use 
using some kind of modded Discord client, I'd be very wary and do your double checking and researching first before even attempting to download or install any third party apps that promise to take you back to the old Discord layout. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. And a huge shout out, thank you to my first ultimate supporter, KZ.